Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. It's Tuesday. It's our live stream with the Sewing Workshop, and I am Betsy. Um, it's nice to have you here. Today, we are talking about the world of athleisure wear, and the biggest trend these days are track pants. So Erin's going to come and give you the lowdown on that pretty soon. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about some kits and some classes and things that are going on. So behind me, I've got last month's So Confident class, which was the Riviera pullover. Uh, you might remember we took the Riviera shirt, we completely transformed it into this beautiful polo uh, pullover um, with this kit made out of viscose linen fabric. So I just wanted to remind you, we still have these beautiful kits available and we have a second colorway in this kind of rusty clay, um, somewhat brick, brick red. So these two colorways are ready for fall. They're ready for muted colors. Um, they're gonna go with your pumpkin oranges, your hunter greens, your chocolate browns. So if you are ready for fall like we are, you might want this kit. Another kit we've got going is this month's So Confident class. So with this month, we were taking the Florence shirt and we've totally changed it into what we consider like a classic button down shirt. So we've got a collar and stand, we've got a front placket, a beautiful cuff with a feature inside cuff, and some decorative um, yoke on the back. So this is the original kit we had. We are out of this kit, but we did get more of this kit back in, and I know there will be some people who are very excited about it. And this kit features a really fun, kind of whimsical scene of like a lake, kind of a tropical lake. We've got some tropical flowers and some ladies bathing in the water. So I'm gonna come close so you can see it. And then I also wanna point out the great feature fabric on the placket under collar and cuffs. And so that's really fun because you get to use two fabrics. You know, it's kind of a subtle, uh, but not really. It's a little bit of a pop. So check out that kit. And then we've got one more new kit for you, which I think we're calling the retro kit. Are we calling this the retro kit? Yes. Yes. Retro ab uh, Ret abstract. Retro <laughs> abstract. <laughs> Mouthful. So this kit features a beautiful viscose fabric, which has kind of a Bargello look to it. And Bargello is a needlepoint um, technique where you're kind of, it's almost like a rainfall of colors in different patterns. And it looks very much like this. So I'm gonna bring this close so you can see it. And this is another great fall colorway. Um, you've got some burgundies, some deep red, a lovely dark teal, and some gold black and white. So this would be really great for fall. And what we're combining it with is this fun print. Now you might say, chairs and coffee pots, that's crazy. But while you may not want chairs and coffee pots in a whole garment, if you look at it like this, because it's just gonna be cut down as a contrast, you can see that it turns into just kind of an abstract color um, what am I looking for? Abstract color um, pattern. So you don't see the coffee pots, the chairs, the vases. It's just kind of a, a pop to the top. Pop to the top. So be sure to check out our new kits. Be sure to check out our classes. And if you're looking for a combination of fabrics for the um, classic Florence shirt, we did send out an email over the weekend that had lots of different prints that we have put together that aren't kits, but are good combinations. So um, back to our athleisure wear day. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that in the last, 
I don't know, four or five years, athleisure wear has been getting more and more and more popular. And really, you can trace that back to uh, kind of the 1950s where designers like Claire McArdle made um, American sportswear popular. Before that, you know, there was a lot of really um, buttoned up, you, you dressed. But with designers like Claire McArdle, they kind of took everything to a little bit of a more casual level. And since then, it's gotten more and more and more casual. And you can't, you know, really complain because instead of cinched waists and not being, you know, you've got your wasp waists and stuff, now you've got comfortable clothes that you can breathe in and move in and like look great in. So, Erin's gonna come over and show you some examples. Hello, I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, so we're talking about track pants. Um, and um, track pants, I think, have been, they've been gaining popularity for, popularity for quite a few years now. Um, you know, of course, everything comes back into style. I remember track pants um, in high school in the 90s being really popular. Um, the, the tearaway, breakaway pants from Adidas being really popular. Things like that have really come back um, with a vengeance right now. Um, and the first thing I think of um, when I think of track pants and track suits in general um, is Adidas. I think Adidas is the ultimate track suit, track pant with their, um, their three stripes that go down the side. Um, everyone knows that look. Well, those are really popular again. And I just wanted to pull out um, my version. I, I'm a big fan of Adidas myself. And so um, this was one piece that I picked up recently was the uh, track jacket from Adidas that they have. And then um, a local shop actually had these track pants. And so I couldn't resist it with it coming back into popularity. I put it on with my Adidas shoes, of course, so I'm all coordinating with my brand. And um, so this is the ultimate track suit loungewear that's really popular. But the funny thing was, um, I came into the office wearing my new track pants, my new lounge pants, and, um, and Linda said, oh my gosh, you are, you're right in style. Um, let me show you this article that um, I just received. So we all know that Linda loves her Wall Street Journal, and um, she always looks at the fashion section because there's always something there that really catches her eye, something um, that's going on in the fashion world and we want to bring that to you today. So the most recent one, um, let's see, September 2nd, September 3rd, this is what they had in the Wall Street Journal. So um, track stars. So this, um, really, this is really talking about menswear, how it's, it's popular in menswear and womenswear, but this one is really about menswear. Um, it was about, um, that featured a man who um, had a last minute wedding, wasn't sure what he was gonna wear. He threw on his track pants, but then he elevated it. He elevated it with a blazer, a t-shirt, a nice pair of loafers. And so it, it was showing how you can go from um, wearing your, on your Sunday afternoon, wearing your track pants, to then maybe going to a more casual wedding, because I know what you're thinking. Um, I don't know if I would dare wear track pants. Betsy said she would definitely not be wearing track <laughs> pants to a wedding. Um, but I think if you're going to a casual wedding, something where you think it would work, um, especially for men, you could wear a little, you could wear your track pants. So this was, a, this was a really interesting article. It really, it talked about how you pair it, how you elevate it, which I thought was really neat. Um, whether you're elevating it with a blazer, whether you're elevating it with a nice pair of shoes, um, or whether you're color blocking it, maybe you're wearing um, a similar shade on top, you know, you're doing a darker green with the lighter green on the bottom, or um, using black, you know, black definitely elevates things to a whole entire level. So if you're wearing a bold track pant on the bottom, you know, you could elevate it with the black on the top, black shoes, maybe you're mixing it with a, um, a like a fancier shoe, maybe it's a sequin, maybe it's a velvet shoe. Um, and so you, you really want to use those extra touches of the accessories um, to elevate the style a little bit. So if you're thinking that maybe track pants aren't for you, maybe if you elevate it just a bit, it might be more in your style range. So check out this article. It was really interesting and it was the inspiration for our show today. So um, 
like I was saying, elevating trackware. You can, you can elevate it, but then you can also have it be more of a loungewear. Um, that's mainly how I would wear it. Um, I might wear it um, on the weekends, but then I do wear it to the office. You know, I do wear my, um, like I said, these are store-bought, but I do wear um, my track pants to the office. But in the fall, you could throw on a sweater with them. You could throw on a boot. You could make, you could make it a little dressier than just throwing it on with a traditional t-shirt. So I wanted to show you a, a slideshow that is packed full of inspiration. It's from streetwear that I've seen with track pants. It also shows you a, full, uh, a few sewing workshop styles that you might be interested in. And then after the slideshow, we're gonna talk about how you can apply it to our patterns. So let me get that slideshow up and running for you. Okay, so here's our slideshow about track pants. And so it's gonna run through a series of images um, and I'm gonna just talk you through the entire slideshow kind of all at once here. Um, but this is gonna show you um, bursts of different ways you can wear track pants. It's going to show you different colorways. You know, I have a slide for purple track pants, green track pants, um, you know, red, white, and kind of just showing you that you can, there's a broad range of ways you can wear a track pant. It doesn't have to be just your typical black and white track pants. You can really jazz it up. You can really have fun with it. Um, and we've just seen a lot of that in streetwear lately. So here's the menswear version from that Wall Street Journal article that shows you how you can pair it with the blazer or you can pair it with a long trench coat, um, a designer sweatshirt, another blazer option with heels. You know, you can really vary how you wear it. Um, I love the blue and the, tr you know, the neutral trench coat idea, a turtleneck, a button down. Um, here you're pairing it with a bomber jacket, a sweatshirt, um, your, your traditional sneakers that you're going to wear with it are really great. Um, I think we always think of solids, but you might want to check out some prints for your track pants. I think um, when you're wearing track pants, you do traditionally think of a solid with a stripe on the side. Well, I think you could pair it with um, a print and maybe even two prints. Um, we have a couple examples of what we're gonna show you that have two prints. Um, this one is some delicate details. You know, you don't have to make it sporty. Um, you can have details up at the side seam with lace. Um, you could do rickrack. You could do a beautiful trim um, that you have. You know, it wouldn't necessarily have to be fabric at the side, you know, in this, these bold prints, you could use um, a beautiful um, trim that you already own um, that really pairs well with it. And, and sometimes those are embroidered, which is pretty amazing, or sometimes they're metallic. Um, you could really throw in some pretty amazing details on the side seam, if you like. Um, so again, this is just gonna run through, and just let's just watch it one more time of um, all these great images of track pants. And I think you can see how you can wear it in your everyday. You could wear it to the grocery store and just throw on a bomber jacket or throw on your trench coat and um, be really stylish. Wear it with sneakers. I mean, everyone's wearing sneakers now. Um, so you could, you could throw it on with your favorite sneakers and coordinate the colors, you know, coordinate the purple. Um, I have a set, I have a new pair of Adidas that coordinates um, like a creamsicle orange and blue and then it, it coordinates with um, a little a sweatsuit that I now own, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but I think it's fun. I think it's fun to, to use those colors and, um, and make an entire outfit with those favorite colors. And I like seeing that here. Um, but I also like seeing the you know, contrast of the pure white with the strong green. I think that's a really nice color combination. So. Um, I think you can have a lot of fun with these styles. I think you can make them with in anything from knit um, to, to woven. You can do a knit pant with a woven on the side, and we're going to show you that example as well. Um, so I think um, we could post this slideshow if you're really interested in what you can do with, with track pants, this little inspirational slideshow. Um, but I hope it um, helps you 
um, figure out that you want to make some track pants coming up for fall. Well, we've had some great comments about people who are very excited about athleisure and are ready to make some track pants. So yes. we are good to go. All right. Let's do this. That sounds good. So what's up next, Betsy? We're going to show some sewing workshop garments. Yeah. We're going to go back to our, since Betsy and I are kind of bouncing back and forth here. <laughs> um, uh, so Linda and Alex are out of town this week. And so Betsy and I are kind of bouncing back and forth between our new setup, our new cameras, um, and your comments. So please leave us your comments um, and any questions that you have. Um, we'll definitely get to those at the end of the session and um, as we try to work through things on our own here and try to pair up and do the video together. So, so anyway, so um, I'm going to show you a few sewing workshop garments that I think, um, one, the pants are the, the lounge wear, the track pants, and what you can pair them with. So someone um, just posted that they would love to see Samantha's adaptations of the style. So this is a perfect segue. <laughs> All right, perfect. So Samantha um, is always making us amazing things and she's always thinking outside the box and um, coming up with some really amazing styles. And so um, this was a pair of Hudson pants that she created. So the Hudson pants um, are an elastic waist pant and at the bottom, there's two darts in the front and two darts in the back. Well, Samantha decided to not even use the darts at all, which is genius, simple and genius, and those are usually the best ideas. Um, and so it, you come up with a straight leg pant like this. And for her track pant style, she added the linen stripe down the side, which is amazing. So this is a rib knit on the majority of the pant and then 100% linen on the side. So pairing it, let's put, I have a couple different options here. I thought this looked fantastic with the Stafford jacket. Not only did the colors just, you know, scream at you that they belong together, but also I thought the silhouette was really fantastic. So the, the straight leg pant with a slightly shorter jacket, the Stafford um, does have an A-line shape and a shorter, sleeve, A-line sleeve, a great collar that you can pop, which I love to do. I think that's really stylish. And, um, I th and it has these great pockets, an amazing seaming here, um, has a jean jacket feel to it. And traditionally we do make it in jean jacket fabrics and denims, but I love it in this drapey print. I wanna show you this because I think it's fantastic. It's like an animal jungle print. You can kind of see a faint lion or tiger in there, I don't know if you can see that. But it's really drapey, which I think would be really flattering to wear over these straight leg pants. And speaking of drape, those pants are made out of the bamboo rib knit fabric, yes. which have the most beautiful drape. And in a pant, especially, the way they fall, they lengthen you, they slim you out, and they're incredibly comfortable. Mm -hmm. Another option that I thought would be really fun is another jacket. This is the Now jacket. We did this for the So Confident project in January of this year. It's made out of a lightweight, fine whale corduroy, and it's fantastic. Um, it has a great pocket detail here, a bottom band, um, a collar, and then sleeve patches. Let me bring this closer. And cuffs. So another kind of jean jacket option, but made in a different fabric, made in a corduroy. And I think, again, this length would be really nice. I think the, um, the straight leg pant with a hip length jacket that's not too full, it's not too boxy, I think would look really nice. You could just wear it with a simple t-shirt underneath it. Both of those styles lend itself to just putting a simple white tee underneath it. You could do the swing tee, the ET, um, any of those simple t-shirts underneath and you've got a great outfit. I think in this fall is the perfect time to add that third piece, which I think instantly puts, makes you put, um, look put together. And so I love jacket weather because you can be wearing, again, literally sweats and a t-shirt, which is what I'm saying here, um, but then add that third element, add that jacket, and you instantly look um, just fresh and put together. 
Um, we got a comment that the now with those pants looks like an elegant track jacket. So it is that elevated yes. look. So here's another option. So these are the Hudson pants again. Um, so these Hudson pants do still have the darts at the bottom, but we've added a cup. So traditionally when we're talking about track pants, we're talking about a fuller leg or a straight leg pant. But I think when you're, um, but you could also do a cuff. You can also do a jogger. And I think you could still have that, give that same look. You can add booties to make it a little bit more sophisticated or you can keep your, your tennis shoes on, your sneakers. And I think it would look great. Um, and here's a perfect example on how you can elevate it. You can add a blazer. You can add the Chicago jacket. Um, this is a wool Chicago jacket with a really interesting um, stitching through it. It's not actual stitching, that's the print of the fabric, but it looks like it has a simple running stitch in brown going through it. So it's a really interesting fabric. I think the brown and the gray make it look really sophisticated. And then you can pair it with a Bristol. Um, the Bristol sweatshirt that we have is a um, top and a dress. So that you could pair it with the top and just a beautiful, rich cream. And I think that's perfect for fall. And in terms of elevated looks, I think the Bristol sweatshirt is like the perfect elevated sweatshirt because the mm -hmm. lines are really nice, but you can still make it in a super cozy fleece but you look like you have like a real, you know, designer shirt on right. and not just a big sweatshirt. So I am right. pro Bristol. I think it's a great top. Exactly. So another um, set of patterns that are great for this elevated yet comfy style is the Maison. So um, the Maison top and Maison joggers is really fun. It's again, it has more detail. It's a, it's a t-shirt, but it has more detail than your just basic tee. Um, so it has a band at the bottom. This Maison, the sleeves have been lengthened and narrowed just a bit and added a band at the bottom of the sleeve. And then um, Linda did some hand stitching, did a running stitch along the neckline to finish that off. So you're taking a very sophisticated color. You're taking black and adding just a punch of um, color or a design detail at the neckline. Well, and then you can pair it with the joggers. So um, you, people will definitely see you coming in these pants, which I think is fantastic. I mean, you're just, if you're walking down the street, people are going to notice you in these pants. Um, we had a kit um, with this fabric a couple years ago, um, but the, I think the, the bold pink and the black and white is a real showstopper, but the design of it is really classic. The well, mace. I, oh, oh, sorry. Can, I was just going to say, I think that shirt in the black, is it just a black jersey knit? Yes. So this is just a black jersey knit. It's just, it's such a beautiful top. You know, you don't look at it and think sweatshirt or mm -hmm. loungewear. Like that is a really lovely top. And the, the um, silhouette is loungewear, but if you do the right fabrics, it really takes it to a different level. And the Maison Joggers is a really fun style. Um, so we've, um, it has an, a narrow leg and then a band at the bottom, at the hem. So it cinches it in a bit, has pockets. I know everyone loves to have pockets in their pants. So it does have a pocket. And then it has a wider elastic waistband and it's finished off with the drawstring. So we use um, shoelaces, elastic shoelaces, um, which we do sell on the website. Um, to finish off these pants. Um, the, you can tighten it with the drawstring, but the main um, part that is cinching in the waist is the elastic. So it does have elastic in the waistband in addition to the drawstring. All right. Another pair of pants that I thought looked really nice with these Maisons, with a Maison top, is, here I'll show them together here, is the Chesney pants. So these are the Chesney pants that we did for another So Confident um, in 2020. 
And um, it, the, the Chesney pant, pants is traditionally a straight leg pant with a side seam pocket and elastic waist, and you can make them in wovens, you can make them in knits. Um, for that So Confident though, we changed it up. It was 2020, again, that loungewear look was very, very popular. And so we wanted to take our new Chesney pants pattern and make it into a loungewear pant. And so um, the silhouette of the um, slight flare in a cropped pant was really popular. Um, it started you know, gaining popularity in that year. And so we wanted to do our own version. And so we took the Chesney pants and flared them. We still kept them cropped, but we flared them at the bottom just a touch. And then, hopefully you can see this, there we go. And then um, you, we took the front hem of the pant and made it shorter than the back hem. And then we created a tuck down the center of the front of the pant. And this is made out of a French terry. It's a speckled French terry. So it's a creamy you know, French terry with some gray speckles through it, which I think makes it fun. And I think that look, finishes off beautifully with this black. Mason. And uh, the tutorial for that project is in our So Confident Chesney Compendium, yes. which actually has two other Chesney Pants tutorials, and it's on sale this week, so you can get three different Chesney tutorials for only twelve seventy five. so it is a steal. And I love that version mm -hmm. of the Chesneys. I think it's really... Great looking. Yeah. These are some of my favorite pants. I had to bring them from home. So. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly where they were. I'd just worn them a couple days ago. <laughs> I was like, Erin, you got to bring them in. <laughs> so I'm wearing um, a, um, a loungewear set myself. So I'm wearing the Bristol. You saw that in the cream uh, knit. So this is a Bristol top in um, a textured black and white knit and then black ponte. Or is this ponte? No, this is ribbing. So black ribbing along the bottom and on the sleeves and then on the neck. <laughs> and then this really beautiful organic design that has been stitched onto the front. Betsy, didn't we do a project on this? We did. There's a tutorial for that. I will see if I can track it down and link it. All right. We have so many projects that go on here and, and we know that we've done it somehow, some way. So we want to make sure and get that to you as well. Yeah. So, and then I paired it with another pair of Hudson pants. And um, I, there was an image in the slideshow of these Hudson pants and I paired it with a Eureka. But these are the Hudson pants that I added a stripe down the side. So I added two stripes. So I added a panel here in a darker blue knit and then I added um, a panel of black on top of that seam to just add another element. And um, these are, um, I made these very baggy. I widened the leg and, um, and then I added a band on the bottom. So these are very full, very exaggerated, and you can see it in that slideshow. Um, so they're, they're just fun, they're very comfy, but I think when you add those different fabrics, you have the light blue, the dark blue, and the black, I think it elevates it. Um, to just a whole new level. It's also really slimming because of the way the colors work. And so they're kind of um, camouflaging the outer edge of your leg. So it makes mm -hmm. the leg width look a lot thinner right. if that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. With so the darker at the, at the side. Did you piece the navy blue and then add the black on top? Is that right? Correct. Okay. So, um, so the, the darker blue here is you know added to you know the front and to the back but then the black is just on top so and did you use the original pattern and just add it on and if that were the case and you didn't want to widen them would you take width out of the original pattern to add the stripe on the side so you would have to you would take um, however you would use the front and the back pattern piece and wherever you want this seam to be, um, you would want to draw a line and then you'd want to add seam allowances on both sides. That way, that way you can stitch those, that panel together. Cool. So, but so you wouldn't have to make them bigger. I did make them a bigger size um, to make them a lot fuller and I did widen the legs. I just wanted them to be just a full pant. And they are made out of a, um, a lighter weight knit 
So I wanted it to be um, really drapey and really flowing, and I didn't want a lighter weight knit to be too tight on my body, so I decided to make them a pretty full pant. Any other questions? Um, there's a question about, I think it's the Bristol shirt you're wearing. It says, is the Hudson shirt shorter in the back than in the front? But I assume they're talking about the Bristol because that's what you have on. Okay. So <laughs> the, it is shorter in the back and it has this panel in the back and then it curves around and is longer here in the front. How did you add the black strip on top? Do you have a shown edge? I do, so I do have a raw edge um, on the black. So since it's a knit, you don't have to finish the edge of a knit. And so I wanted to use that to my advantage. So I just cut out a strip of the knit and then top stitched it um, at the side seam. But if you were doing a woven, you could just uh, you applique could just it on top and do down the edge stitch. Right, you could yeah. just um, fold those mm -hmm. edges under yeah. and mm -hmm. then applique it on top. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. an easy variation that like makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see what Samantha did because hers, um, she did use a woven on hers and she did, looks like she did just that. Because on the woven she wanted to make sure and have the edges finished along the side. And so she turned those edges under and then top stitched. And she even, um, she did the strip the entire length of the pant. So even before she created her, her waistband. So she added it before she did that part, which makes it easy or easier at least. These are great pants. Mm -hmm. Samantha, are you wanting these back? <laughs> we all might be making those pants. All right, I have another combination to show you, and then we have a little video that we're going to um, hope works. <laughs> we're going to attempt. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the next combination includes, this is the West End and Helix mashup matchup here. Um, so this combines the Helix and the West End together. So the Helix is um, a narrow-legged knit pant. And the West End is, um, well, you can make it knit or woven, but traditionally a woven wide leg pant. So um, I wanted to have the fit and um, the slimness in the hip of the Helix, um, and that, but I wanted a wide leg. So I used the wide leg of the West End with um, the, like the hip waist area of the Helix. So that's how you get this. And then, in true track pant fashion, I added the strip along the side. So this is a printed ponte. Both of them are printed pontes. You have the printed floral and then a different design down the side. And this is another example of where I didn't add this panel on top of the side seam. This one um, is a section. And then I, you can pair it with the West End top, which I think is really cute. This is um, a, um, a fleece with a ponte trim on the hood. And then you can use the Maison, a striped Maison, to go with it. So cute. So we have a little video. Um, so in 2020, Linda did a video showing you how to make, um, how to create your pattern going from a helix to a West End pant. So we're gonna see if we can pull that up and let you watch it. We're gonna attempt. We're if gonna it doesn't attempt. work, I will just send you the link for the video. <laughs> So this is a copy, like a tracing of contained. the West End pants okay, and you'll have to let with the wide leg. The, video. the black lines on this pattern indicate the helix pants. So you can see it's quite a bit narrower than it ends up. And now all she's done is from this notch traced the width of the leg straight down. 
for the west end. So that's the new side seam. Straight of grain is parallel to the original straight of grain, and it's matched starting at the full hip. Now, you can notice that, I hope you can see that there's about an inch difference in the width of the helix pants versus the west end pants. And that's exactly correct. We've talked about the kind of ease that you need in a woven pant, which would be generally the west end pants. You want four inches of extra ease, so you can pinch an inch, we say. So you have an inch, an inch, and an inch, and an inch, four inches of ease in a woven. You can see that this pant is uh, in the knit for a helix is about four inches smaller, so there's really zero ease in a helix pant, and that's about right for a ponte knit pant. So in order to get the other side of this, now we shift this over so that this line now lines up with this curve. And straight of grain again. And so now she's able, from the crotch point, to trace the new width there. I think this is brilliant. For those people who really want a nice smooth fit through the waist, the stomach, and the hips, but you want to be able to change the width of the leg, this is a really good way to do it. Okay. All right. It was the little um, lag on my computer. It said it was done. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video of Linda showing you how to go from a helix pant um, to the West End pant, so you're widening that leg just a bit. It's a really fun and easy. I mean, you can whip those pants out pretty quickly. You know, you find a great ponte knit, and um, and they're a really quick sew, and I think they're they're really cute. It just changes it up a little bit and creates a wider leg. And you could do any width of a leg that you want. You can't, you wouldn't have to do as wide as a West End. Um, you could make it more of a straight leg. So you can really, with any pant, you can really adjust the width of the leg to your liking. Um, is, so if something is a touch too wide, you can always go down maybe to the next size. So you can narrow it up a bit. So um, always think about that when you're making a pant. If something is too narrow or too wide, you can adjust that pretty easily um, to your silhouette, to your liking, to um, your fabric that you're using. Um, so think about that when you with your pants pattern. You have a um, quite a range of possibilities. Charlotte said she thinks it's the best hack on those pants that she's ever seen. Oh well, good yeah. on the West End. On Felix. the West End, I think so. And Suzanne said that those were the pants she's been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good variation. All right. Okay, should we talk about some fabrics? Let's talk about some fabrics. Okay, all right. So um, let's start over here on this side. Betsy, do you want to join No, me? come on. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start over on this side here. And so um, we picked out some fabrics that we thought would not only make great um, track pants, but some good um, fabrics to pair it with for the jackets or for the tops. Um, so over here on this side, um, this is the rib knit that you saw um, with the Hudson pants that Samantha made. And we use this for so many different things. You know, I've made a skirt, I've made Eureka's, um, West End pants. I feel like we've, we've used so many patterns with this fabric. So it's not just a pants fabric, you can do tops as well. So this is a beautiful eggplant purple rib knit. And I think it would be really fun to do that stripe down the side seam in this print. And just to note about the rib knit, so we call it rib knit because it is a knit with a rib, but you also might think of a rib knit like what is used on Aaron's mm -hmm. cuff, and that's a different kind of rib knit. True. So, um, and we do have both online, so for this, you are looking at the bamboo rib knit, because this is more of a garment fabric, whereas that is really meant for details, cuffs, True. that kind of thing, mm -hmm. so word of warning. Yeah, and we do have this in a lot of different colors. It's one of our staples that yep. we keep on hand um, year after year and you know just get new colors and it's just been really popular. 
Um, so we do have a range of, of colors in this. I think 13. 13 colors. I counted. Wow. <laughs> And then here is another combination that I thought was really fun. So this is a printed ponte. Um, we get a few printed pontes in every fall, winter season, and they're just, they're fantastic. Um, they have a beautiful hand. They're very soft. You can wash them, they're very comfortable, um, a medium weight, very stable knit. So perfect for that Helix West End. And our pontes normally have rayon in them. And so it gives it a smoother surface. They don't pill. They wash really well. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to find printed ponte, so we snap is. them up right. whenever we get them. <laughs> and I think this looks really good together here. So this is another printed ponte, but it looks like a denim. Um, it was just kind of, it snuck up on me. I didn't realize that we had it. <laughs> and I thought it was a really nice pair. So you could um, make this the stripe on the side, or you could reverse it. If you'd prefer to have more of a solid look on your pant, then you could add the pop of the, um, of the floral on the side. Mm -hmm. And then down here at the bottom, I hope you can see this. This is another rib knit in a beautiful, let's see. Copper? Is it copper? Copper. A beautiful copper. I think this is a great color for fall and for winter. I think it's really rich. I think it's fantastic. So you could do this for the pants. And then you could add another, here's another printed ponte option, which I think is really fun. Um, and it has that same copper color in it. It's got gray, it's got black. Um, it says a, a floral, but I kind of see it as an, it reads like an animal print to me. What do you I think? I think of it as more of kind of an abstract. Um, wait, well, you can we'll see find that. Out. I'm gonna try to see if we can see that a little bit better here. Does that help at all? Yeah, it does. See? But it's got a lovely like heathered gray background and then some rust color in there and some like kind of deep gold. It's a really nice piece. It's print, but it's subtle print. I'm gonna pan my way up just so since I'm close, I might as well let you guys see some of these other fabrics a little mm -hmm. closer. There's that floral ponte, which is just fantastic with just rich blues and a dark taupe and um, kind of a grayed green, which is really nice, all on a gray background. And then here's that print up at the top, like a tropical print with black and, and purple and blue. I think that's really interesting. All right, we'll come back over to you, Betsy. So over here, um, you may remember that we saw quite a few inspiration images that were green and black, green and white, and I really think that green is popping up for this fall as a, as a on-trend color. This is a corduroy. It's a corduroy we used for the Now jacket kits. It's a beautiful thin whale corduroy. It's very lightweight, um, and it is in a lovely hunter green. And you can pair that with this black, um, I think we call it like an active wear mm -hmm. knit, uh, which I mean, is perfect time for, I mean, I was like, well, we have to do active wear knit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> active wear knit. So it's a polyester blend. We don't have like specifics on what it is, but it's a very thin, um, knit. It almost has like the heft of a Jersey, but with the strength of a Ponte, if that makes sense. Um, so if you are making something that you're going to wear a lot, active wear knit is the way to go and you can stretch and move and not be, not be hindered by your pants. So you could do your pants out of the black with a green stripe or vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got to make that now jacket out of it. So you have a whole look because this is ready for fall. Someone commented on the um, comments that they were seeing a lot of corduroy for fall. So now is the time. Mm -hmm. This is a linen checkerboard. It's actually a panel fabric. And there's a lot you could do here, really. And in fact, there's a lot you could do within the fabric itself. If you wanted to go with a really bold pant, you could do the main legs in the checkerboard fabric and then use the border print as the side piece. That's all right there for the taking. Um, or turn it crosswise. You can have the border print at the bottom, use the checker for the length of the pant, and then do a coordinating 
track stripe up the side, maybe in black, maybe you pull out one of those colors. So that has a lot of opportunity in one fabric. We pulled out the other now jacket fabric that we have, the corduroy, in the raspberry color because it pulls out this little dot of raspberry in the checkerboard. And so even though it's not the main color of this fabric, it brings it out and it kind of takes it to a different look. You could also pair it with black, you could pair it with green, there's a lot of different options there. Down here, can you see what we've got down here? Really well shortened. <laughs> Back it up. Back it up. Um, this is French terry fabric. This is very soft French terry fabric. And for those of you who are maybe new to sewing or new to this channel, French terry is a type of knit that has like a jersey soft smooth side and then it has a loopy side on the back. Um, this particular fabric has a very subtle loop. Sometimes you get a French terry that's almost like toweling. It's got such a big loop, but this is a really smooth, um, uh, kind of spongy material. It's lovely to wear. Now, if you remember, Erin made her Chesney pant variations out of a French terry, and so we wanted to include an option in the sale today so that you can make those too. And we think this would be beautiful for those pants. And if you're looking for a top, really to go with absolutely anything, black and white stripe will always be your friend. <laughs> it is our friend, we use it, we love it. You just can barely go wrong with a black and white stripe. This is a cotton jersey knit. I believe it's 95% cotton, 5% spandex. So it's got a nice bounce back to it, but it's really soft. And the cotton um, material that it's made of makes it really um, stable to work with. So you're not slipping and sliding. It goes together and it's a really easy sew. And again, you put black and white stripe with solid white pants. You could do it with that. You could do a black and white stripe pant with a French cherry side stripe or vice versa. Um, the neutral colors really allow for a lot of different variations, I think. Yeah, and I thought that um, when I was originally picking those out, I thought, you know, that you do the French terry and you put that black and white stripe down the side. Mm -hmm. and I just thought that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. be a really and would you, would you do the stripe long ways or would you horizontal it so you've got the horizontal stripes going that side? I would do horizontal. I'm mm -hmm. a big fan of horizontal stripes. Um, <laughs> and so I just, and I think it would, it would make it stand out. You know, mm -hmm. I think it would be really dynamic to see those stripes going all the way down. Yeah. But then if you did it the other direction though, that'd be like your Adidas three stripes. It would, so. it would, but you would have to be very careful to get those stripes perfectly aligned because yes. you don't want any wonky stripes. But yeah. what could you use? You can you use Fusy Web. <laughs> <laughs> Always use Fusy Web. <laughs> Then you can get it. Yep, exactly. All right, let's see if we have some questions. Yeah. Which is easier. I'm interested to know if people are leaning towards a bold pants or if they're thinking more that they want like a solid color or even like a neutral black with a pop. I think I know what I would do, which of course is print on print. Erin's um, obviously made solid, but what are you thinking now if you made one? Well, since I have the print on print Helix West End, I need a, oh, I need right. a name for that. Maybe I need I need a name that you know meshes the two together. Wheelix. Wheelix. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that. So I'm thinking. Um, actually, I love a um, like a subtle. Print, you mm -hmm. know, like that denim looking ponte mm -hmm. really caught my eye because it has some texture, but it's it's solid. So I think you yeah. can really make it sophisticated when yeah. you um, have just a little bit of texture and it's like it has a sheen. So I think you could mm -hmm. again, you know, if you have a fabric that has a little bit of a sheen or a little bit of a texture, I think you can easily dress it up or down. Yeah, looks a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. um, while she's looking for questions, I do want to show you um, my version of track fans that we had a we had a laugh about. So um, I go kind of straight to the West Ends for my loungewear. I actually wear them all the time. Um, and a few years ago, 
I made this version of the West End pants and it's just out of the package. Um, I think I shortened them a little bit, maybe quite a bit actually looking at them. But what I did was I made the pocket out of a contrasting color and then I did a little welt piping down the side in the contrasting color so it comes out of the pocket and moves down the side. So it is a subtle version of a track pant, but it looks pretty fun. And this was made in our viscose linen fabric that we like so much, and we have a bunch of different colors of, so you can easily do a contrasting fabric. So, so Betsy, what are you wearing today? What am I wearing today? Well, as previously stated, I like the West End pants. I'm wearing my West Ends that are made out of a Liberty of London cotton. Instead of elastic, I did a grosgrain ribbon drawstring. I don't know if you can see that. Am I too short? Can you see that in the video? Oh, we can see it. Okay, good. And then I have a Eureka top on, just a plain Eureka top as it is out of the pattern, but it's in a sweater knit because I got up this morning, you guys, and it wasn't 95 degrees and I pulled out a sweater knit. It is fall, I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. Been, Every morning I've been getting up and putting a sweatshirt on. Uh, it's been the, so hot. The most glorious thing. <laughs> it was great. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I've got my brand new Rothy shoes on. So very comfortable. It's a comfortable day. So there's a question about the top fabric there on the left. What's mm -hmm. the content? What's the content? It is a cotton lycra blend. So it's got a little bit of crosswise stretch, not a ton, um, but enough if you made pants, it add a little comfort to it. Ooh, some people want to do a wide leg with a border print at the bottom. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. Nice. Let's see, we're going to do a close up of the denim ponte. Do you want me to bring it or do you want to come? Um, why don't, well, why don't you come with the, the fabric? Okay. If, oh, it's really large, isn't oh, it? it is. That's a beast. Let's forget that. I'm why don't you come you. here? <laughs> come to you. We just got in some of these fabrics, so we have quite a bit of this ponte. I'm not sure if the color is going to come up very well. It's darker than what I'm seeing on our screen. Mm -hmm. it, it, it truly is like a dark denim color. Mm -hmm. You could make jeggings. No one would know. <laughs> Well, that would be the perfect fabric for it. <laughs> Judging by Erin's look, she, she was not into the JD idea. <laughs> <laughs> to each of them. But if you made a pencil pant, that'd be lovely. Exactly. There you go. There you go. I went on, mistakenly got some jeggings. It was, it was a poor choice. It's a long time ago. <laughs> some people look really cute in them. Yeah. Let's see. Um, not this one. I love the top left fabric for a pair of pants. Me too. Mm. It's a good one. Again, you have that kind of subtle print. It's got a little bit of a tropical vibe when you look at it up close. I love the, how the contrast of a tropical print and the colors, which mm -hmm. I think are very rich and a little bit more fall. Yeah, the darker colors. Because mm -hmm. you want to keep that summer fun going. People really enjoyed the video, um, oh, so if we could post that again, they'd be interested in seeing that. Okay. We can do that. They appreciate all of our new technology. <laughs> I do 90% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. It keeps us, uh, keeps us learning, mm -hmm. but so far so good. So someone had a question about what Linda did with the um, with the West End, the video with Linda with the West End and the Helix, and um, did she lay the two pants pattern on the cutting table? So yes. So if you um, if you lay if you have your Helix um, down first, and then you can put the West End on top, or vice versa. Um, but um, really, what you're doing is widening the leg. You're keeping the shape at the hip. And then there is a, um, a notch at the hip, and you're matching that point, 
and and then changing the shape of your helix to make it a wider leg so yeah. and like i said you can make that um any width you want so the west end is just a great example of a nice shape and a mm -hmm. nice um, circumference at the bottom but you can really um, change that to your preference yeah and use whatever you can either do it on your own or if you have another pair of hands you like you can pop those on as mm -hmm. well um, i think we've i think we might have we hit all the questions all these questions great yes yes well you keep looking yeah. um i was going to tell them what's on sale which is everything back here on the wall and then i have to get my piece of paper because i can't remember so we have a lot of pants on sale today we have the hudson pants on sale we have the maison joggers which also comes with the top we have the west end pants which also comes with the top um the helix and the chesneys and the chesney compendium so those are all 15 percent off all of these guys are all 15 percent off so you've got lots to choose from so I do see a couple more questions. Oh, great. If we want to open yeah. it up for that. All let's right. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Would the ponte work for a jacket? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could use the ponte really for any jacket. Um, we did a really nice one out of the Chicago jacket is mm -hmm. popping to my mind. I think we've done a West End jacket out of ponte, and that worked mm -hmm. really well. You could do a Bristol top, like what Erin has on. Um, because again, the ponte, which is a double knit, um, it's hefty enough for a jacket, but it's not like a heavy fabric, if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. it works well for, for both of those things. Which pants pattern would work best for the top left fabric? For, for the top floral. left fabric. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think, Erin? Maybe the Hudson pants? I think the Hudson's or the Chesney's mm -hmm. um, would be really nice because um, it's, I, I think a straighter leg pant would be really nice mm -hmm. because of the weight of the fabric. I feel like it's a little heavy for a West End that it mm -hmm. wouldn't drape maybe quite as nicely for the West End, but I think the Hudson and Chesney's would really fit the bill. And maybe even the Picasso's. I mean, so oh, some Picasso's yeah. are really nice in these, um, uh, kind of mid-weight fabrics because it shows the shape of the mm -hmm. lantern. Yeah. So some things that maybe don't have as much drape work really well, surprisingly. Right. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, why do you like the West End over the Valencia? Why do I like the West the End pants. over the Valencia? Well, I like the wider silhouette. Um, I tend to wear them just over my ankle because I'm short. So I think that proportionally for me, that works well. It has a pocket pattern in it. Um, it is our favorite pocket pattern that we will put on other pants because we like it so much. It's a really uh, nifty little technique. And so I would tend to wear them in drapier fabrics or like this lightweight cotton. And so for me, that's just my preferred pant. The Valencias are a little bit slimmer, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just feel more comfortable in the West Ends. So, yeah. yeah. I think, uh, you know, every body shape is different. Mm -hmm. And so I love the West Ends for my shape, for my fuller hips. And mm -hmm. so it works well. But when I, once I got my uh, Valencias to fit, I mean, yeah. they're a pant you can whip up really fast. Yeah. So I think it's all about the fit and getting it to, to yeah. fit your body. And I think when I see the West End pants, I think of, I mean, they're not really, but like I th think of like a trouser because it's the fuller leg. And so mm -hmm. um, they're kind of the trousers that I can wear. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, that's my go-to. What is the content on the um, floral ponte? is not that it is 57 percent polyester 38 percent rayon and five percent spandex and and then do you line your pants i don't line my pants so this one like i said is made with the liberty tonalon cotton um, which is a very thin cotton and i wasn't 100 percent sure how well they would hold up but I've had these pants for um, 
I'm trying to think of when we got this fabric. Probably two years, and I wear them a lot, and um, I lounge, <laughs> I lounge in them a lot, and they've worn really well. Like the fabric still looks good. There's no thinning in any like you know, behind areas where you put a lot of strain on your pants. Um, they've they've really held up. I don't know that you would need to line your West End pants unless you were doing something really, really thin. Maybe mm -hmm. like a silk you might want to underline just to take a little bit of that strain out. But yeah, I don't think that I would worry about that. And can we see the length of Betsy's pants? Oh. So do some camera work. Back it up. There we go. <laughs> there we <Got> go. <laughs> All the way against the wall. So you're wearing, um, is that maybe one, two inches above your ankle? I think everybody kind of wears like them. like two inches, I at, think. At different lengths. Do yeah. You? And so, you know, if it was winter, I'd still probably wear them. I could put them over boots or I just wear like maybe tights under them um, with mm -hmm. flat shoes, depending on how cold it was. But mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, for me, I like them a little, maybe an inch above my ankle. Mm -hmm. You know, to, I think you need to see a little ankle because mm -hmm. that's a narrower part of the leg. Yep. I think that's really flattering. Um, if you do a couple inches, it's great because of with winter and boots. I think that's a great style. Yeah. And then you can do a little bit longer, I think, in the spring when you can wear sandals or a yeah. low cut sneaker. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. I don't see any other questions. Cool. Well, I think we've covered everything. We have. Have we? Okay. We have. So we did the sale. We told you what was happening. So I hope everyone runs right out, makes themselves some track pants or joggers or a new athleisure outfit to take them into fall. Um, and then send us pictures because we want to see pictures of your garments because oftentimes we see something that you've made and then we're like, oh, that's a really good idea. So. Keep us inspired by sending us your photos, and we will see you again next week at the same time, same place.